It is a very state-of-the-art device that's implanted within the skull but has electrodes that go into the brain. It has two functions. One of those functions is to basically detect abnormal electrical activity in the brain, uh, such as a seizure or other type of abnormalities that may occur on an EEG. And when it detects that abnormality, it actually can be programmed to send out an electrical signal to stop that seizure from occurring. The candidates for RNS are for individuals who have drug-resistant epilepsy. So this makes up about 10, for 10 to 15 percent of the entire epilepsy population. And these are the folks that aren't responding to medications. They may not be candidates for surgery or surgery hasn't worked for them. This device gives us an opportunity to help a group of individuals who really couldn't be helped by anything at all. These are people who are truly impacted quality of life, and this gives a potential hope to help these folks.